She sparked a nationwide police manhunt after fleeing with her boyfriend, Mark Gordon, a convicted sex offender, and their newborn baby. And it's thought they've been living off the grid, destroying evidence of their whereabouts and paying for items only in cash. This is everything you need to know about missing mum, Constance Martin. This is 35-year-old aristocrat Constance Martin. She sparked a nationwide police manhunt after fleeing with her boyfriend, Mark Gordon, a convicted sex offender, and their newborn baby. The couple were last seen on the 5th of January in Greater Manchester after leaving a burning car on the M61 near Bolton. An urgent appeal was launched as it's believed that the baby was born in or near the vehicle just a day before and hasn't been to hospital or received any medical checks or treatment. Constance comes from one of the most prominent aristocratic families in the country. Her parents are Napier Martin and Virginie de Selliers. Her father, Napier, was reportedly a page to the late Queen Elizabeth II, while his mother, Mary Anna Martin, was goddaughter to the Queen Mother and a playmate to Princess Margaret. Constance grew up in Crishaw House in Dorset, boasting 5,000 acres of land. It's one of the most impressive Georgian mansions in the country and was even used in the 1996 adaptation of Jane Austen's Emma. So how did she end up on the run? Her father says she drifted and became estranged after meeting Mark Gordon seven years ago. So who is her convict boyfriend? Forty-eight-year-old Mark Gordon served 20 years in jail in the US after being convicted of raping and assaulting a woman in 1989 when he was just 14 years old. The victim said Gordon broke into her home with garden shears and held her captive for four hours during the ordeal. Originally from Birmingham, Gordon was deported back to the UK in 2010 and met Constance in 2016. Although the two went missing from Bolton, they've made the journey from the northwest down to the southeast. After leaving Greater Manchester on the 5th of January, the couple headed further west and are thought to have spent around two days in Liverpool. On the 7th of January, they were then spotted in Essex, in the port town of Harwich, as well as the city of Colchester. Later that same day, multiple CCTV cameras caught them walking around East London, before a final sighting in the East Sussex town of Newhaven on the 8th of January. In London, they were spotted coming out of an Argos with camping equipment and a blue two-man tent like this one. Police fear they may have been sleeping rough ever since, and it's thought they've been living off the grid, destroying evidence of their whereabouts and paying for items only in cash. Well, the short answer is, no one knows. The Metropolitan Police released new footage this week of the couple's last known sighting in New Haven in East Sussex, where they were captured on CCTV, but that was on the 8th of January. In a statement, Detective Superintendent Lewis Basford said, we know from their movements from the 5th to the 8th of January that they've been across the United Kingdom. And I think now six weeks on my plea to members of the public is they could be anywhere within the UK, in any town, in any city. So really it's for everybody that's watching this, the appeal to just have a look, think, be visual, and any information or intelligence you may have to come forward and contact the police, wherever you might be. Well, officers are offering a £10,000 reward for anyone who finds Constance Martin and her newborn baby. The Metropolitan Police say the newborn is the number one priority and they believe the baby was alive when the three made the journey from London to New Haven. Officers don't though think that they caught a ferry from the port and are confident they remain in the UK. Both of Constance's parents have issued emotional pleas for their daughter to turn herself into police. Her mother Virginie said in a statement, you are not alone in this situation and we will support you in whatever way we can. And her father has raised fears Constance may have been, in his words, brainwashed by a Nigerian cult. For one to say in the name of Jesus, 
And for Jesus to come to the scene, that in the name of Jesus must come from your wall. How many of you speak from your heart? Napier Martin has called for an inquiry into the Synagogue Church of All Nations, which was run by the late evangelical pastor T.B. Joshua. He cited her experiences with the church as a trigger for her current behavior. Well, it's thought the pair amassed a significant amount of money last year to keep them going. But earlier this month, a senior police officer appealed to the couple, saying they must now be running out of cash. So what happens next is unknown.